just get the chat up so I can see you. And what delightful video I have to watch this morning. Oh no, he's gone straight into it. Good. Hi Chris, hi Marie, hi Helen, hi Priscilla, hi Jane, hi Jill, hi Melanie, hi Stephen, hi Anne Marie, did I say hi Marie? Hi Suzanne, hi everybody. Let's get that out of the way. I'm, oh, I haven't got clean water today. I'm going to paint um, irises today. <laughs> I made a decision. <coughs> um, and um, this is 350 grams, so it's a bit more than 140 pounds. Cold pressed paper, it's quite thick. It's A3 size, which is double letter size. So if you put it in half, it's like just a little bit bigger than double letter. But hi Cheryl, did I say hi Joe? Hi Kerry, <laughs> did I say hello to everyone? Hi Nora, <coughs> hi Diane, hi Margaret. <laughs> hello everybody. Um. <laughs> What am I going to paint with this morning? I might just do flippy floppy brush paint. This is a, um, so I, want, I want to do like a really loose iris. This is a pro art sword brush on the large side. I've got um, a pro art sword brush on, oh, here it is, on the small side too. Small, small, large and small. There's a big difference between the large and the small. I think I might even have the medium somewhere. I've got no idea where that is, but I quite like this, these brushes because they like make you be a bit loose. I probably might use this one, which is a, just a number 10 round synthetic, really cheap brush. So, and um, if um, my, the paints on here are mainly, oh, I, think, I think Mission have taken over this palette they were did start off as being Winsor and Newton but I think that's mainly mission paints and Daniel Smith's on here now it's like evolved <laughs> so the darker colors are Daniel Smith and the brighter colors are all um, mission gold paints except the yellow that's a Daniel Smith Hansa yellow which I might be using for the middles of the irises so I'm going to do flag irises oh and now my if my chat goes off, my iPad's saying it's only got 10% and I haven't got a charger with me because I moved it. Typical. <laughs> um, I, might, I might just go and get my charger quickly. I know where it is. Five seconds. Um, I'll give you something to look at. You can look at this. organized now I've got something to plug. Right, okay. Right, I'm back. <laughs> Let's plug my um, iPad in. And then I won't lose the chat. Yay, there we go. That didn't take too long, did it? <laughs> Brief interlude. <laughs> Hi Anya. Hi. Sorry if I haven't said hello. Hi Cheryl. Did I say hello? <laughs> um, yeah. Hi everyone. Um, right. Um, irises. What was I saying? Yeah. So if you um, got any questions to ask me as I'm painting, can you do it in capitals? I won't think that you're shouting at me or anything, <laughs> but um, I, I just see it better. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm just going to start. So. Um, I've got an idea in my head what I want. This is Mission Cerulean Blue or Cobalt Blue. One of that. And that's another, that's a, that one there is Mayan Blue by Daniel Smith. So I've got 
um, a few blues here. And then I've got a turquoise, cobalt turquoise. So I just let them all like wibble in together. So my thing had just gone laggy. I don't know why. Right, um, what am I painting? <laughs> I have to say what I'm painting. I am painting um, irises. What do irises look like? They have these big fluffy leaves that are petals. That's what they're called and they're not leaves. Frilly things up here that are just like frilly, frilly things. And then they have more petals that come down in that shape. I'm just trying to use as fewer brush strokes as possible. Sorry, you can't see up there, can you? Drop it in. Drop the darker blue in. And then they have a really intense yellow furry, what's the furry bit called? It has a special name. Let's see if I can get this yellow without it going green, which would be an amazing feat. That might it going in a little bit to the, um, that's it. Let's put a bit of um, green in here in the middle. Then they have like a, a papery, it's like a really papery, um, you might see me doing this a lot with this because this brush holds a lot of water and um, drips everywhere. So I'll dip it in there and then I'll probably go like drop it off. <laughs> I have some irises but they haven't flowered this year. I, I think I need to move them. <laughs> I'm gonna add a bit of orange to this just to um, give it a bit of oomph. Um, colour wheel again I have them printed out. The opposite to the blues on the colour wheel is, uh, is um, orange or red. So that will make the blue like <laughs> or a beard, a caterpillar or a beard, yeah, that's that. I suppose that's, that's the, what that bit's called, isn't it? Yeah, I might get a, um, well, what I like to do, I'll get a yellow pencil. I haven't got a bright yellow one here for some reason. I've got pale yellow. Oh, there's a bright one. That one would do, that's a good colour. Just give it a little sharpen. See, it's all, um, smooshed in. I don't, I don't like the, the yellow's taken over. Yellow's taken over the world. <laughs> it's a bit more blue. It's going to go green now, isn't it? No, that's okay. Let's make it fluffy. Just scribble. Scribble, scribble. This is just a normal, um, what do you call it? Watercolour, soluble pencil by um, Faber Castle. Um, I might get some just like do some scribbles and oh it's got black. Oh, I didn't want black, I wanted it to be yellow. <gasps> That's it. <laughs> Don't be concerned. I was um this is still wet luckily before I got distracted um I want that nice oh, here's my palette that I lost yesterday let me put this back up turning the palette around right. okay now I've got this um lovely ready ready brown umber color here orangey with a bit of ochre for the that papery bit that's always on on them and then the green stem I'm just gonna drag it down I'm trying to do it straight oops a bit fat that brush <laughs> okay forget that bit that went a bit wibbly and wipe it off yeah that'll do Put a bit of bleach there. Let it do its thing. In here. Okay. 
and um, it might have another stem coming off of it because sometimes they have like a stem thing and I might do a bud here. So the same sort of colours I'll use that for the papery bit that wraps around the bud and then god this is so wet this brush and then um, a blue there we go that's, that's a bud let's do another one here Ooh, that's nice so nice that color oh i'm just like blobbing with the brush and then this is the let's have one that comes down here with the yellow bit okay, intense yellow bit coming down the middle I have how many do they have three three leaves that come out or something like that I can't remember it's gonna look at irises a bit better <laughs> it's my Mayan blue just darker bits sticks of bleach in it Here. Scribble time, let's do some if I block that then the yellow would be more intense. I just wanted it to be a bit more intense than that, but um, finding things here. Yeah, I've got one of these um pastels. Watercolour pastels, I'm just going to put that there where the like pollen bits <gasps> fall. That's that works. <laughs> Let's just drag some colour around a bit with the scribbles. Let's do some. I'm going to come and put some. I might do it now actually. Where's my small brush? I did have it. There it is. It's, I, want, I want a real dark blue. I know I've got some here. I'm going to have to like... Uh, might add a bit of the um, Luna, Luna, Luna Black to that blue there. Let's pick up a bit. That's a, a Daniel Smith Luna Black. It's a beautiful colour. It makes it go all grainy and lovely. Let's just add some darkness in the middle here. I'll do the same for this one. Not too much because I want to keep it fresh looking. Once you start adding lots of different layers, sometimes it gets a bit muddy. Don't want that. Might add a bit when that's dry. I'll probably add a little bit of orange to that so it pops out. Um, it's going to have a stem. Let's get a bit of stemness going. It's going to come down there. Is that? Um, leaves. I wanted to do another one here. I might do like a different colour one. Maybe. I don't know. Well, let's just stick to the blues because they're quite nice. Just the flag irises. Oh, she just throws her pen everywhere. I'm just. Trying to make that so it doesn't look like I just blobbed it there. It is a actual, um, <laughs> it's going around the leaf. A little bit dark there. That blue's taken over that. You can see how wet it still is because I can still come and lift the colour off. So it's really wet and I'm just letting it blob everywhere. Oh, thank you, Jay. <laughs> right, right, oh, I threw my brush on the floor. I'm going to do another one here. Just to, like, give a bit of... I'm doing, like, a diagonal composition. Exactly. We were talking about composition a bit yesterday. We won't worry about that. That's got um, a stem there. We pretend it's not there. And it might work. Do this one a bit intense, darker. I like painting these because 
I just like I used to paint them loads because <laughs> you can just like um, I don't know they're just fluffy <laughs> and I can scribble and you know how much I like scribbling Cyril's going crazy he's been a crazy duck this morning <laughs> add splot a little bit this is the bit oh that's got green in it it's pretty <laughs> this one's sort of coming out. this one can be like a dying one this one past its best I think they go like dark blue don't they and they, they sort of go all darker colours I might do some more buds somewhere add a bit of green for the stem because that stem can carry on um, I might paint the background in this I'm not sure I need to do some petals let's give it the fruffy bits that makes a bit more sense now bleach <laughs> you can't see the whole Thing. I'm sorry it doesn't quite fit in. Right, um, petal. Oh, they have really pointy, pointy petals, don't they? I don't know whether to do that. Maybe I'll just do some um, buds in the background. Just really simple, pointy things. And this nice sort of ready colour for the bit that folds over. And a green stem. Might have more green stems coming down. Might make more sense then. Oh, wrong colour. That wasn't. No, oh, it's blue. There. Um. What was the artist that I really love that paints beautiful? Oh, maybe I've forgotten her name. Oh, she's an Academy Award winner. Um, oh, I've forgotten her name. I loved her. I love her irises she paints, and I can't remember her name. Something Black, Black Adder, someone Black Adder. Um, does anyone know? <laughs> I'm sure it's Black Adder. Her name. Google it. <laughs> I can't Google it whilst I'm here. Um, I can't think. Yeah, she was a, um, a Royal Academy artist, Kate. Something Blackadder, is that? Uh, Elizabeth Blackadder, that's it. I love her her watercolours of irises and, and she, she inspired me to... Um, sort of paint watercolour, I just love her paintings, they're like really beautiful. So if you haven't heard of her, go and look. <laughs> I think, I don't think she's alive anymore, I'm not sure, no. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, she's, uh, she's cool, she's like really cool. And I also like um, Shirley Trevina. Her watercolours are lovely too. And um, I think I've mentioned her before. She used to live in Brighton. Been been to her house a few times. It's so cool. She used to have. Um, I used to be part of the Brighton Art Trail, and she used to open her house a few times as well. And it was lovely just going in there and seeing everything her watercolours. I've got a few of her books. So if you need inspiration, go and look at Elizabeth Blackadder and Shirley Trevina. Oh, she's still alive. Cool. She's Scottish, isn't she, or something? I don't know. She paints cats as well. She's always got cats in there. I love, love her. <laughs> I'm 
I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just sort of adding bits. There's more buds. Maybe I should put a leaf in. They have very distinct leaves, don't they? Obviously, they're just pointy. <laughs> don't like that green, though. Ooh. No, I always paint leaves and then I wish I haven't. <laughs> I think I've sort of finished this. I was going to add a little bit of orange here, but it's still quite wet and I didn't want it to... Um, let's see on the tops so this is the main focal one remember the rule of the thirds if I split that into maybe like one two three four so this, this is the the main one yeah I think I finished this I was going to paint the background on it but I don't think it needs it <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it needs a, a background. You can't see it all in the camera, sorry. <laughs> it sort of chops off a bit, but there we go. Irises. That didn't take long, actually. I thought, oh, I'm going to do like a proper watercolour this morning instead of doing my little bits of flowers. No, I'm not putting a background on it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's that one. I don't know whether to do something else. I don't know. I just chuck that on the floor so the dog walks over it. It might make it look a bit better. <laughs> um, let's do it another iris because I can. Let me just take this off of here without ripping it. <laughs> Sometimes it rips when you take them off of his. that on the floor <laughs> right let's do another one let's just do one I'll do one here and a bud <laughs> so that's that bit this one might be a bit looser because I've loosened up this morning If I can do it much looser, I suppose I can, you know. <laughs> They're called beaded irises, aren't they? The ones with the beady bits. <laughs> I'm going to... Um, blot out a bit to put the yellow bit in this one. It's going to have three bits. I don't know if they have three. I need to look that up. <laughs> There's me painting three bits. I've always usually do like two beardy bits. I'm sure they have three beardy bits that come out of them. So this one's having three anyway. don't care. <laughs> I'll just let that do what it wants to do. I'll do some, there it is, bleach. Just put a little bit of bleach in this because 
Ooh, I've got the yellow on that. That's not good. I've got this has got green leaves for some reason. Petals, should I say? Just because I got too much yellow on my brush. <laughs> Make that really dark, lovely. Where is that peacocky blue? I've got one somewhere. That one, it's a nice blue. It's really dark in the middle. I've got bleach on my brush. They're just pushing the colour away. If I block that, then I can come back in when and add a bit of yellow. Might even get my Posca pen out. God, that'd be fun. I'm just dragging the <coughs> sorry. I'm just dragging the paint with this. I could I could use it. A, a um, it, it does sort of draw as well at the same time. But I could just use a skewer, a bamboo skewer that I normally use. But let's give it a stem with this horrible green I seem to have mixed up here. That would do. That doesn't look like it. That looks like an octopus. <laughs> have I ever painted gladioli? Um, no, I haven't actually. I don't think. I'll have to paint some gladioli. No, this looks like an octopus. <laughs> it needs more legs. I don't like this one already. Now I've seen that. It's just like, yeah, yeah. octopus painting. There's, there's painted buds that might make it a bit more like an iris. Good. I've just painted an octopus for you. So I need clean water for this. <laughs> I think it's come to a point where I need to um, clean my palette. Sometimes I just run it under the tap because then all the, um, the colours do start making horrible colours <laughs> eventually. Let's just look at that. Um, a bit more buddy than the yellows disappeared that was there. I wanted the papery effect of that papery bit. Let's try some um, different, different paint, that one. I don't like this one as much, just to give it a, a, pet, a petal, a, a leaf, a, an iris leaf. <laughs> it just sort of looks like an octopus. <laughs> Hi Joan, don't worry, it's okay, you can join whenever. <laughs> yeah, floral sea creatures. <laughs> Let's make this look less like an octopus, come on. It's just, <laughs> or I could just go for it and turn it into an octopus. I'm, I'm sort of got that song in my head under the sea, <laughs> the octopus's garden. <laughs> I did a nice octopus in my. Um, I can't reach it. Someone asked me about doing a painting of him. Let me show you. Where's my sketchy book? If I can find it. Oh. Got stacks of stuff all piled up on them. <laughs> Which one was it? This one, I think. It's got it's got an octopus in it somewhere. I think it's in the middle, or is it this one? Yeah, there we go. Hang on. Love. <laughs> yeah, there's my jellyfishes, <laughs> and that's the octopus. I did um, lots of that, um, what do you call it, um, 
alcohol on that. Yeah, so that octopus has it got eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, eight. And it's little beady eye. So, yeah. So that's why this, this is looking like an octopus. <laughs> Maybe I should paint octopuses tomorrow. <laughs> you want to flip through the book? That's an old one. I did a flip through before. All right, I can do it because I don't want to do any more to my octopus iris. I'll flip through this book. This is an old one. <laughs> um, just throw it on the floor. <laughs> All right, okay. That was old, 2017, so it's not that old. I think you can't see everything. I'm going to have to move stuff. Move it. This is a um, Moleskine, 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 however you say it, Moleskine, A3 watercolour journal. <laughs> so this is some fungi. These are just random flowers. These are trees. <laughs> I've got paint all over my fingers. So some trees. And uh, there's a random dog in some... This was my effort to paint roses. So you can see how awful they are. <laughs> and these ones, God, look, they're disgusting. They're, they're like, that's embarrassing. And um, here's some chickens and things I just like put on. And here's some, these are made into um, greetings cards, I think, somewhere. I can't, I saw some in the shop somewhere, but I can't think where. I didn't, I didn't have any. <laughs> this is gouache though, so um, yeah. I think these are all gouache, don't look at that. That's, uh, this is gouache sort of bits. These are roses. These are getting better. These are all my roses I painted to um, sort of um, practice. So I started getting better. <laughs> and then this is just practicing um, leaves and things. Yeah, well, I usually have a book on the go all the time where I just sit down if I fancy painting something with it. I, do it. I used to do my morning paint. This used to be my like morning painting. I used to do it all in a book. But then people started asking if they could buy them, and I can't really. So I started doing it on separate sheets of paper. Um, these are like pale, pale flowers. Some more roses, yellow roses, and these are peonies, I think I was trying to do. <laughs> mm. Love! <laughs> that was just messing around, doing letters. Floral letters. There's some more. This is a pattern somewhere. Quite a lot of these are turned into textile patterns. So. These are the um, jellyfish, wishes. They're so easy to do. You just blob colour and go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this with you tomorrow. <laughs> Should we paint some jellyfishes tomorrow and octopus? Maybe. I've got lots of undersea paintings because I do lots of um, patterns for um, fish and things. Official term, yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> I sound like one of the, um, what are they called? Oh God, the Wiggles. <laughs> That's what they're called. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we can do some undersea. Maybe if I, if I do some underseas tomorrow, I'll paint some octopus and some fish, maybe. Maybe I can have a week of doing undersea creatures and I'll finish off by showing you how I do a fabric pattern out of them. 
Anya, are my fabric patterns being made into rolls of material in shop? No. I sell my um, repeat patterns to um, interior fabric companies, so they might sell it as fabric. I haven't seen any, but they turn it into all sorts of stuff, you know, and they change change things a bit. <coughs> but then, it's more flowers. You'll get bored of this because it's just all flowers. My practicing of roses, <laughs> mainly this book was. This is my roses book where I was like determined to paint roses. I quite like that flower, it's nice. Yeah, don't look at that one. <laughs> Yeah, this is turned into a pattern. Some of them have got like patterns. These are lovely. I love these. I love the way that they turned out. They have like spudgies. <laughs> um, uh, lilies, <laughs> that's what they are. Some blue bits. Some orange bits, <laughs> some more orange bits, and some blue bits. These are like the one I just did, the enemies, the one I did yesterday. This, see, I painted so many, but they look nice. Oh, thank you, Anne Marie. Oh, this is cactus, cactuses. I like painting cactuses. <laughs> I did, um, someone bought. One that I did on a sheet of paper. I've forgotten who it was now. Some more rubbishy practice. I could do um, cactuses as well. There, some more, some more, some more, some more. <laughs> Oh, this is just the end. Is it the end? Yeah, I'll just chuck in bits that I do. Yeah, this is the end, the end of a book. So you know, it's just got, oh, more cactus. Yeah, that's it. That's the end of that one. <laughs> I have, oh gosh, I strangled myself on my thing. I've got another one. Shall I just flip through the other one quickly? I don't know if this one's finished actually. Maybe. Maybe just flip through this one as well. <laughs> Seeing as I've got a captive audience. <laughs> I have do done a few videos of me flipping through these. This one's the one after that one, I think. So these are like little birds. <laughs> um, this is licensed somewhere. A few times actually. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I just flip flippy through. Oh bad, little buddy. This is like an autumn. I started obviously I started this in the autumn. <laughs> These are some tropical birds, so it's gone. That one's a bit this is like a manky budgie. <laughs> These books I don't really mind what I paint in them if they look a bit like um I don't know, budgie's got problems. But and then I like that. <laughs> I think that's it. I turn that into a fabric. Sunflowers and a bird and weird crisscrossy things. And oh, yeah, this is my little landscapes. I love these. These are like really quick landscapes that I've done in here. Isn't they pretty. <laughs> There's quite a few, like lavender ones and things. They're just really quick blobs of colour and stuff. This one, that one's quite effective. I was trying to get perspective, I think, on these. <laughs> I think it works quite well on that one. Also like that landscape. Of the hills. 
and this one is quite nice but that looks like it's going up at an angle I didn't quite get the perspective right on that for some reason but it's alright I like it I like the way the inks I think I use black ink and it's just like gone into like tree shapes some more <laughs> and some more that one was like really basic just blobs And then it's my lighthouses. These are on fabric designs. So you might see them places. <laughs> so I like my lighthouses. I like this one. The fat one at the end. Don't get wet on it. And then here's some creatures. And some pussy willow and catkins. Some more roses, autumn -y coloured roses. See, better at roses now. They actually have some depth to them. <laughs> this is like more of a. These are these are fabric designs that I've sold. I think these ones. Yeah, so I usually write on them like they are. <laughs> yeah, I have everything but fairies. <laughs> That's a little swash. I've got a, paint, a video of me painting these flowers on YouTube. These The flowers, not the bird. So I painted that and then I put the flowers around them. And that is using the Luna Black and Daniel Smith. Can you see how nice and granulated it is? It gives a lovely texture. I don't know if you're picking that up. Sorry, I've got a lag, so I'm going to have to wait. Yeah, you can see. That was just using Luna Black. I'm going to have to mop that up. Yeah, Luna Black's cool. I like that colour. And this is um this has been licensed a few times as well. Like I licensed stuff like Shutterstock and that. And then what's this? And some this is a pattern. <laughs> and these are some pumpkins. They've sold a few times too. And then little bits for a, oh, this is like a um, manky bit in the middle. These are just, I think I must have finished that and then just, these are little bits that I did for patterns. Weird monkey looking thing. That was just a background for something. <laughs> Blackbird. I think I copied a, someone's painting for that because I just quite liked it and wanted to paint it. Um, and these are yellow flowers, yellow and orange flowers. I quite like that. It's pretty. Right. Yeah. And then I've got a collagey thing, which I did. Um, I did a class on Skillshare. Is it Claire Picard? She's got a Skillshare class of doing these. I liked them and I've done quite a few. They're not in here. I don't know where the rest are. <laughs> How's it feel to walk in a shop and see your work? It doesn't happen that often <laughs> because I think most of it sells in America and other places. So I don't always get to see stuff. But I did see something in Sainsbury's a few weeks back, which was cool. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's mine. <laughs> And I used to um, I used to do uh, knitwear designing, and um, when I first left college, and I used to always see my knitwear stuff in next. <laughs> that was really cool. I saw more of my, I think I've seen more of my knitwear around than I've seen anything else. But anyway, anyway, thanks for joining me. I didn't finish this because I could, all I can see now is a. Um, Octopus. <laughs>
Yeah, it's just octopus, octopus ivies, and it needs a couple more um, legs, and it'll be fine. Throw that away. <laughs> All right, thank you, everyone. That was quite a long one today because I was got carried away flipping. I've got loads more journals to flip through. <laughs> loads but I'm not going to do it now okay thank you for joining me and I will see you tomorrow bye